welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing and turning on your notification as i have new uploads every week now today i'll be showing you how to make this delicious chocolate chip cookies now let's get started So the ingredients that we'll be using, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a cup of softened butter, which is about two sticks, one cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two large eggs, a box of chocolate chips, and I also went ahead to add the regular chocolates that the milky chocolate to it, but it's completely optional. So we'll start by boiling our butter. Do not let it boil until it's dark because it can have an overpowering flavor. But boiling your butter will help the cookies spread better. But if you want to skip this step and use just normal melted butter, it is still okay. Once that is done, make sure that you set aside your butter and let it cool down completely. I would highly advise that you do this step way earlier because if you use the, the butter when it's not in room temperature then you will have soggy cookies so next before you mix all the ingredients preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit so we'll start with the dry ingredients so mix the flour baking soda and salt in a bowl then set aside so next it will be to cream the butter so add some sugar and the butter that we already boiled and it's in room temperature mix together so you can use a wooden spoon as well Then go ahead to add in your vanilla extract and the eggs but you'll be adding the eggs one at a time to the butter and mixing thoroughly. Once that is done, it's time to add the dry ingredients. So we'll add them gradually to the butter and mixing it until a dough is formed.
Once you have a dough, it's time to add in the chocolate chips into your dough. Then using a cookie scooper or a tablespoon, you can drop the dough onto a cookie sheet that you've already lined in your baking tray. So you can go ahead and bake your cookies at this particular time. But usually I like to freeze my cookies. This will help the cookies not to be completely flat when they bake or look like biscuits. Let me say that. So if you have time, I will say you put them in your fridge to chill or in a f in your freezer for about 20 minutes this will help the cookies to not spread so fast when they are baking in the oven so the cookies have been chilling in my freezer for about 20 30 minutes and i'll put them in my baking tray and as you can see they are hard and this is what you want because the spreading will be slower and you'll have that beautiful cookie shape instead of just a flat cookie so put your cookies in your oven and let them bake for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they are golden brown and 12 minutes later here are my cookies they tasted absolutely delicious they were crispy on the edges and that gummy chewy center i absolutely love them with a glass of milk i really hope you try this recipe and if you like it please give it a thumbs up as well and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye